Hey everybody, good morning. I just come on, I'm just coming on here just to say, um, just to say this is <sighs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> but um I just watched maybe about two of my supporters and whom I also support myself. I just watched their video. And one of them I'm involved in, the other one, that's not what exactly what I came on here to say, but I just watched theirs because there is two of them. Um, one of them, of course, that I'm involved in is Raina Keto, Positive Raina. Her, I watched her video from this morning, her rides back home from her job. Um, I watched her video. And I also watched um it's Diva Donna. Diva Donna. I, I just watched her uh live from that well, it was last night while I was watching her replay. Um and let's well, shout out to them ladies because I support them. They support me on my channel, no matter what, you know. But I'm just going to say this because it's happening to them, to us, them, us. It's like this, you know, I understand people watch commentary. People watch your commentary, our commentary, and when I mean what I mean by our is the people whom I support, and they support me as well. So that's what I mean by our, and other people as well. But if you don't like that person, and as the saying goes, why watch? Why get on somebody's platform with some hateful stuff? You know, I used to get, I got blocked out of certain people's on their channel, whatever. Okay, for whatever reason, they blocked me. If I was being messy, they didn't like it, they blocked me. If they, if that's, if that's, if that was the case, okay, if they blocked me for that reason, so be it. But do you see me going back to their channel? No. And the saying goes, why watch? Somebody you don't like, you just want to be there and watch them. Their every move. Their every move. Or come be a troll. And when they go live, you want to be in their chats. Being messy. And for what? Some of these people have positive content. But you always still have those trolls that want to come and say some negative, crazy, stupid stuff. Or if you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be trolling, and you can't stand that person, why you just can't watch in silent? Why you gotta come to the comment section or try to come in their chat, knowing if they got moderators and you being messy, you're gonna get blocked. You're going to get blocked. I'm going to say I wasn't positive in a lot of people's chats. Not a lot. Not a lot. I'm not going to say a lot. That would, that would be I'm lying on myself. Not a lot. I'm just, that just came out my mouth. But if I'm being messy in somebody's chat about another content creator or in that content creator's chat, but I, I, I would never do that. I would never be messy. Now, I got blocked from a certain content creator's chat because I came in with a a silly looking emoji and I got blocked. But do you see me going back over there or creating troll accounts just to be in that person's chat again to say what I want to say because that person blocked me on one account and then go make another account to go in their chat? That's childish. I wouldn't do no nothing like that. 
That is so childish and stupid just to do that. Once you block me, I'm not going to go make troll accounts just to come into your chat. For what? You blocked me? So I'm, I'm, I'm blocked. Ain't no coming back or ain't no creating other accounts to try to come in your chat. I don't roll like that. But why watch folks if you're going to be messy or if you don't like that person? Why watch them? I don't understand. I know sometimes you may want to say, well, let me go, go over here and watch and see what they say. But then here you go, go on your channel and make, that's your right. Okay, that's your right to go on your channel and do some commentary on it or whatever. But you don't like this person. You're blocked and everything. So why do all that? Save yourself. Save your breath. But I get it. It's a game for some people. A game, G-A-M-E. And sometimes it's a game for you because y'all know drama sales. I'm not about that. I ain't looking at no numbers or nothing like that. When I come with commentary, I just come with it. I'm not looking to, oh, this will get my numbers up. You know, they have been going up and they have, they have been going up because of, not because of no drama. I ain't even did no drama field things. My last live was probably, what, two weeks ago. And I've been promising my supporters because they've been asking. And I give them what they ask for. If they want to see it and they ask for it, I'm going to give it to them. Because that's why they're here. That's why your channel has those numbers on it. Because of your true supporters. You know, you may have some stragglers in here. Just here to stay, to hang on. They be hiding in the bushes. You know, you have those as well. Because every time you go live, then you'll see this and that. They don't, they don't pop up, but they be watching. They be watching. I miss my live. I'm, I'm gonna go live. Because they asked me, I had quite a few ask me, when am I going live again? And I promised them Thursday, but I got so busy Thursday and Friday. And let me say this. Um, how can I say this? Because <laughs> people tell me things. You know, sometimes I don't want to hear what people say that others have said and they look miserable and mad, hateful commentary on me as well as others. Well, I'm speaking of me, okay, because this is me. This is about me. When I hear my name, people come telling me that so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. You know, sometimes I don't mind you coming back telling me that, but sometimes I don't, I don't care to hear what these negative people say about me. And it's like I said, I don't answer to names that wasn't given to me by my loved ones, my parents, or loved ones. Because my aunt. My my auntie gave me a name, a nickname when I was a baby. My mother gave me a name at birth. I go back that name and I gave myself a name on here. Those are the only names I go by. I don't answer to nothing somebody negatively made up about me, a negative name. They made up. I don't answer to that. But some people know who they trying to talk about. But they not talking about me because that's not my name. I don't go by that name. 
I was doxxed by my real first name. I was, I was doxxed. But, you know, I got that person back that did that. You know, I don't go by that, what they fucking call me. That is not me. If they say that in their chats or whatever, I don't answer to that because they I know that's not me. And let me say this, just because, and I don't even put this out here. If I say I'm not feeling well, that means I'm not feeling well. That that just show how closely people watch you. But then they want to turn it around, spin it around like I'm in a hospital. I haven't been in no damn hospital no time this year. No time this year. So I don't know where people say I've been in the hospital and all this mess. Oh yeah, I was in the hospital and that was getting shoulder surgery. And it was outpatient. It was not no inpatient. I ain't stay in the hospital. And I had a surgery on my rotator cuff tear in my shoulder. Okay? Being in the hospital means you admitted into the hospital. I was never admitted into the hospital. Never. And I have never put a video up or anything stating that I was in the hospital. Because I wasn't in no hospital. Hospital getting surgery? Yes. And that was months ago. And by the way, I'm healing fine. And if I take pictures laying in my bed with my funny shorts or whatever, I get up and move, I dance, I exercise in my house. Even if I haven't been to the gym yet, I could do exercises in my house. It's what I've been doing. I don't sit around. I don't lay around all day. I can't do that. Even if I'm sick, even when I had my surgery, I never, I, I wasn't bed bound. I still had to get up and move. If it would just involves going to my kitchen and my kitchen is, <laughs> is a walk <laughs> through this house. My kitchen is from my bedroom to my kitchen. Cause I got to go down my long, my long hallway. Turn the corner. Turn the corner. I'm in my living room. Then from the living room to the kitchen. If I do that, that's exercise. That's getting my walk done. If I do that 20, 30 times a day, that'll be something. I cannot lay down all day. I have shit to do outside, you know, which I'm about to do this morning. Get on up and get out. Early bird catches the worm. So I don't know where people get the get it that I'm I I'm sickly. I ain't never sickly. And damn right I will be 50 years old and damn near proud of it. People better pray that they turn, they get it to their fifties. They in their late thirties, they forties, they early forties. They better pray. They better get. They get there. Cause I feel damn good. There's nothing wrong with me. Hell yeah, I have aches and pains. Who don't have pains? Who don't? You can't tell me. Nobody goes around in life being pain. Free, pain free. Can't tell me that. I know something hurting on you. You ain't got to go to the hospital every fucking time you have a pain. My good grief. Where's people coming up with this stupid information? I don't show, I don't, I don't show that shit on my lives. I don't I don't say that shit on other people's platform. Now, if I say I'm not feeling well, that don't mean I'm going to no hospital. 
And if I choose to say that, that's on me. But I know they'll be watching it and twist and turn that shit around like uh, she in the hospital. Like where? Where's the proof that I'm in the hospital because I said I'm in pain? I'm in pain right now, but I, hey, I can manage through it. That don't mean I'm going to no fucking hospital. Where do people get this shit from? They information. They just, they lives is mis miserable. They love misery. They just got to put out this false ass narrative that you this and you that. Yep. Damn right. I'm proud to be. I'm not 50 yet. That's another thing. They heard my age. So I told it. I told it. I will be 50 because because I'm damn near proud. I'm proud. I ain't there yet. Hopefully by my birthday in three months. That I get there. And they probably heard this because I was on uh I was on the panel last night. Cause they watching, but they can't stand us. All of us that was on that panel, they can't stand us, but they steady watching. It's not hard to not watch. I do that all the time. If I don't like you, I'm not going to watch you. If somebody send me something, if I go watch a, a little, a few of it, I, I, I do that. Now I admit sometimes I do watch people that don't like me to see what the fuck they got to say, especially if they so-called they still talking about me. And definitely, some will, uh, if you're going to talk about me and then tag my channel name, of course I'm going to see that. But don't nobody do that because they know if they do that, you know, possibly, more than likely, I'm not going to watch them. And I will block you because I know you'll have something to say. Unless I know you're a true supporter. And you tag my name because you're going to say something positive or you're going to do some commentary on a video that I did or something, something like that. But to all the ones that don't like me, I ain't going to even say you my damn op because that's irrelevant. You're not my op. I don't have no ops, op positions. I don't have those. But I know I got people that this hate. They hate me. They they some haters. I don't use that word op, but some people do. And let me tell you, I don't care about you. You don't know me. I don't know you. I don't fucking want to know you. I don't have to get to know you. I'm glad I don't know you. So you be glad you don't know me. Just because you watch shit on here and hear what I got to say, like people can't laugh. It's people in others' chats that laugh at some shit they say about me. Oh, wait, I take that back. They call me that, that name. That's not me. So they laughing at that person that they talking about. They're not laughing at me. But when they say can't handle the truth or put that C-H-T-T -T in there, then that's when they call themselves talking about me. But if they call me the name that they made up for me on here, they're not talking about me. Mm -mm. I take that back. So don't let don't let what I just said get you to tag in my channel to try to get my attention. Because if it's you, and you know who I'm talking about, y'all know who I'm talking about. Because it's more than one. You know, I'm not going to answer to it. Even if you tag my name. So don't go on the spree of tagging my name. Because I said, when you tag my name, that, that gets my attention. But really it don't. Because if it's one of the people, one of those channels that don't like me. Or don't and it's not my supporter or whatever, and I think you've been you're gonna say something negative. I'm not gonna watch you, so don't tag my name. Don't do that. 
because I'm not going to watch you. You may get views from other people, but you're not going to get mine. And you're not going to get my attention, especially the ones that say pull up on a panel. Y'all must think somebody a fucking fool. Who the fuck going to pull up on your panel? You don't like me, but you want somebody to pull up on your fucking panel? Uh-uh. No way. Just continue to do your old stupid fucked up commentary. Your stupid fucked up lives. Your drama filled lies. And that's it. That's all. Because I ain't pulling up on nobody's panel unless I want to. Can't nobody demand me to pull up anywhere. That's all I wanted to say. These people is just weird. Like they out for for what? They out here doing this, all this for what? Simply don't watch. You hate my voice? Don't watch. You hate the way I sound? Don't watch. If I look crazy to you, don't watch. I don't even have my real face up here. This is a this is a it's not an avatar, but it's a, well, it is called an avatar, but that's my face, but it's filtered with other things. And I have that right. I can put any picture up here. I had my real picture up here. I did. If I put a filter picture up here, so what? And all this stuff, cam up, cam up. I challenge you to cam up. You can't challenge me to do nothing. People seeing how I look on here, this motherfucker, and you can't say I'm an ugly bitch. That's also what I want to say. You could say my eyes is crazy and this and that. But if my eyes were crazy, I guarantee you, you can't call me an ugly bitch. Cause I ain't never ugly. Get the get it right. My mother ain't raised no. My mother didn't have or raise no ugly children. And I didn't raise. I didn't have or raise any ugly children. You can't say that about my kids either. But I'm not gonna put my kids in this because I go to war for them. Even though they got they all grown. I still will go to war for my goddamn kids. So I brought them motherfuckers in the world. I did. And I will go to war as anybody that's a parent should for their children and grandchildren. But I'm not a grandparent yet. But I will go to war for mine. All four of them. And they will go to war for me, especially my oldest. Nobody better not play with him. Because he got a, he's short tempered. And they all will go to war for their mother. All of them. All four of them. So, that's all I got to say. Simply, don't watch. Don't watch. Y'all have a good, I keep thinking today is Sunday, but today is Saturday. This week is going by slow. I guess with that time change, that, that changed everything. The pace is kind of going slow. The holiday is here, y'all. Thanksgiving will be here. I'm about to go out in the stores and get a few things. Because I'm not really feeling the turkey vibe, the whole turkey. I did that for ooh, so many years. <laughs> so many years. And I don't eat ham, so that's not... I don't want to do the traditional thing. I don't take my black card away because I don't do... <laughs> I don't do dressing. My mother, when she was alive, she did some fire. Her dressing was good. Now, I may ate a little bit of it. I just don't like all that bread. It's just something about dressing. 
It's not stuffing. Don't get it twisted. There's a difference, y'all. A difference between dressing and stuffing. I had this debate with somebody a long time ago. Like, it's not the same. Stuffing, you use to stuff the bird. Stuff the chicken, stuff the turkey with. More likely, they do the stuffing with the turkeys. But I have seen people stuff chicken as well. Duck. You know, they, they stuff whole chickens. They stuff ducks. They stuff the turkey. But people stuff, you stuffing for turkey. Sometimes I have seen people, you know, stuff, use dressing and stuff the bird with the dressing. But I just don't like that idea. I don't, I'm not the idea, but I don't like dressing like that. My, like I said, my mother's was good. You know, she did it, but I ate a little bit of it. I just don't like, and that cranberry sauce, eh, nah, I don't even care if it's homemade. No, I don't like cranberry sauce. So if I eat some dressing, it will not be with cranberry sauce. <coughs> Also, um, I don't do pork. I don't do the ham. I used to. I'm pork free as of 24 years ago. I stopped eating pork 24 years. So there's no ham in my house. There's no uh, chitterlings. I can't even say it right. (laughs) But they be looking good. But I seen this channel. Like I said on Raina's panel last night, this lady, she did some vegan chitterlings and she used bean curds. I said, I might try that. And it looked it looked like the chitterlings. All you did, all you needed was like the seasonings and the uh, the seasonings, the onion, the bell pepper, and all that. I bet you it probably tastes like them. But I don't know exactly how bean curd. I guess it's all in the seasoning to make it taste like that. It's not the real thing, but it probably tastes just like it. I mean, somewhat similar to it. Just like when uh, I seen Tabitha. Um, Y'all know she's the vegan person. Tab Tabitha. Um, I seen her make fish, and she used. Heart of palms. And I always wonder how that tastes, but that it looks so good. I'm gonna try that. I'm not becoming vegan, but I would love to try some of those things because that should be looking good. And I want to try it. I hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> but I'm gonna try the vegan chip. Not this time, but not it's, it's a time I'm I'm gonna try the vegan chitterlings. I'm not gonna do it for no Thanksgiving. Probably won't even do it for Christmas. Probably do it before, before the holidays or whatever. I just want to try it. Go get some bean curd and do what she did. Watch her video again. I forgot her name, y'all. And I don't know if I subscribe to her channel or not. It's her and her. I think that's her husband. He was, they was, she, he was doing a challenge. Um, he had the real chitterlings on his plate and he had the vegan ones that she made. She had all the vegan ones on her plate. She was letting, you know, him do the taste test of the vegan versus the real chitterlings. And he ate the vegan. He tried the vegan ones first and he liked it. His eyes lit up. He was like, wow, this is very tasteful. So I'm thinking all you got is, is the matter of the seasoning. I also watched this lady, y'all, Josh and his mama. That lady, no, she she be trying some new stuff. I give it to her. But the thing is with her, it's the seasoning. I think she tried to do a like a chicken gyro thing. <laughs> oh, I just watched that video. I just watched it this morning. She did a a chicken and she put the chicken, she cut the chicken. I guess she thawed it because the chicken was chicken breast. She thawed it in some hot water. I think <laughs> I guess that's her thing of washing the chicken off and soaking it to unthaw it. But they said she used hot water. Lord have mercy. Help Josh mama. 
and she said she's seen it somewhere. I guess she pulled up a video and she put it on a paper towel holder. Paper towel holder. She put the chicken breast on. She cut it in half and then she slid it in the middle so it can fit on the paper towel holder, y'all. The paper towel holder was the, like the gyro holder thing that they use. She said she pulled the video up and show the video that that looked like because Josh asked her, he said, why are you using a paper towel holder, mama? And she was like, she showed him a video that whoever whoever video that was, they did the same. It looked like a paper towel holder that they were using to put the chick, hold the chicken on. But my thing is, if she has an issue with seasoning, that's the thing, y'all. She don't season her food at all. She don't season it. <laughs> and there is, if she has some blood pressure issues or whatever, maybe she's just doing it for, you know, jokes and, you know, to get the channel views and all that stuff. I don't know, but she eats it at the end. But she put that chicken on that paper towel holder and put it in the oven. It looked done, but it, I don't think it was all the way done. I don't know how many, how long she put it in that oven but Josh your mama need to get her you need to get your mother one of them guys if she make another gyro thing like that she need one of those things I think they sell them in the stores or on Amazon they sell the little small ones that she could use to put on there but the chicken look it looked cooked on the outside but somebody in the comment section said they seen a little bit of pink so it wasn't already all the way done that video turned me out see i be browsing through you know the youtube and i see different things and i'm just saying that i'm bringing those up because it's it's funny and you know you you learn new things that people be cooking and you're like mm, i might want to try that out my channel ain't based upon one thing it's about a variety thing. And then I got the other channel is my healthy channel. Not so much, not so healthy, healthy, but it's it's like that's my weight loss um journey channel. Um I come with little healthy topics, some things I eat. I also got videos of what I eat, my low low carbs channel. I have that channel. That's that's not a trolling channel. That's nothing like that. I made that into my healthy channel. I didn't have no subscribers on there. Now I have close to 50 subscribers under there. And I thank each and every one of you. I cannot do, I can do a video and stuff and post on my community wall on there. They finally gave me one. Because I had to verify my identity and all that stuff before they even give, gave me a community wall. I do things over there. You know, sometimes I share it over here on this channel. So I do a variety of things. You know, I have came outside, as they call it, came outside on a few content creators that, you know, try to try to tear me down. But it didn't work. I'm letting them know. I let them know that this is not it. I built this channel on different things, and it's not about drama. It's not about that. But if I come outside on you, I will come outside on you that one time only, and that's it. I'm not going back and forth with nobody on here because that's what they want. But y'all, wow, this has been 30 some minutes. Ooh, I didn't even know I talked that long. I talked so much. But that's all, y'all. That's all I got. Thanksgiving is coming up. Give thanks. Give thanks. Learn how to not be so miserable all the time. And if you don't like me or others who I support, or you mad because I support that person, don't watch me. Just stay over there. Stay over there where you belong. All right, y'all. I'm about to hear. This was a long one. I didn't even know it was going to be this long, but 
This was a long one. Y'all take care and have a beautiful Saturday. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, so you will be notified every time that I post a video or go live. And I also share my other channel. As soon as I go live on there, I will go live on there as well. I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. And thanks to all my new subscribers, my old and new subscribers, welcome. Sit back and enjoy the content. Thank y'all. Bye, y'all.